All right, everyone, I'm back. So today's adventure, we're going to be talking about doing house cleanouts. Now, all of this stuff was from a customer I picked up from her a couple times. Uh, she reached out to me and asked uh, if I knew anybody who had uh, that did dumpster service, being that it was in the scrap metal business. And uh, I told her, yeah, I can haul a load of stuff out. What do you have? So she said she had a new deck put on her house, and the guys didn't take the wood, which... I don't know how they didn't take the wood. I mean, maybe it wasn't included in the price or whatever, but it seems a little shady to me because that's thousands of dollars worth of stuff to get rid of. And uh, at the homeowner's expense, I mean, when you pay $10,000 or more to get your deck, you know, done and the guy doesn't even take the stuff and she lives in a community that she can't burn it. And she, I've been picking up little bits of stuff first. I told her I would take what I could. So this trailer has um, four foot sides on it. So it's four foot sides. And it's 10 foot and it's six and a half foot wide. So being if you stack it up high, it makes it close to 10 yards of garbage. So as you see this big piece here, there were cut, uh, cut into 12 foot uh, lengths of the, from a deck. So I was chopping them into pieces. I told, him I would, told her I would take as much of the deck wood as possible because of its weight and making it as heavy as it was. Now, what ended up happening was I loaded the stuff up and get it all done, and I charged her, I told her $600. Now, that $600 includes my labor, the dump trailer, it's the, 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 um, the trailer, and it also covers gas and labor. Now, if you get a 10-yard dumpster for most people around here in Northeast Pennsylvania at this current time, our 10 yard trailer i think they're between 350 and 450 dollars and you're allowed one ton so 2,000 freedom pounds now what happens is you end up like this oh mike you could have put a lot more on here yeah i could have but that wood took all the weight i mean some bags some carpeting and some flower pots and you know stupid stuff she had i mean the, the, the weight isn't or, or the bulk isn't the problem here it's all the wood. Now, it costs me $150 at the place I go for the first 1,000 pounds. And then it could be up to 220 for a ton. So I want to always stay under a ton. You know, being that fuel prices are almost $4 a gallon here in Northeast PA again. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, she probably could have got a dumpster and it would have been cheaper. But she would have had to load it. And there ain't no way in hell she's picking up those big pieces of... Uh, I had to cut them in to five foot links to pick them up and they were sopping wet you know old pressure treated wood there's no way and i could tell by the way my tire is sagging i'm on the bump stop so there's almost a ton on there so that's what she got for her 650 bucks so it is what it, oh i'm sorry i told her 650 i told her six i, I did, did it to her for 600 so i charged her 600 so yeah I mean, she probably could have found somebody cheaper, but they wouldn't have took all that wood. I mean, I didn't even take, I, I, I didn't even take 20% of the wood at the bottom. I put, I, I grabbed about five sections of that stuff. And my, my daughter was picking up the smaller stuff. And let me tell you something. It, um, uh, it weighed out quick. And then this morning I went, one of my, uh, I pick up for one of the biggest um, employers here in the county. They have a bunch, bunch of hotels and restaurants and stuff. So they had a Coke machine, whatever this thing is. A little freezer, one of those stupid things. And a uh, bunch of random small stuff they always have. But I went and picked that stuff up this morning before I went and got this stuff from the lady. But I want to tell you guys, you know, don't cheat yourself on this. Even if you can get rid of it a little cheaper, up here it's expensive to get rid of the garbage. Another guy said, oh, it's $25 a trailer load at the county dump. Well, I don't have that privilege. And yeah, there's a cheaper place to go to, but it's 45, 50 miles away. So round trip with the gas, it's not worth it to save, you know, what, $20, $30 a ton. But yeah, you guys can easily get these cleanups. You know, people are always looking for something they want taken away. And out here in Pennsylvania, uh, in the area I live in, you have to pay for your garbage. So you have to pay for your garbage to get removed. So you can't just put bulk stuff out and have people take it. It don't work that way. 
I know um, in the city, like in New Jersey and in the, in some of the uh, areas there, you pay more in taxes and you get you, garbage. They'll have a bulk day twice a, a year where you can put out couches, tires. It doesn't matter. You don't get that freedom here. We Our taxes are 25% of what they are in Jersey, in New York. So you have to pay to get rid of your, your stuff. And it's an extra revenue stream. You know, if you guys got a little dump trailer or a little trailer like this, or even a rack body pickup truck or something, don't cheat yourself. I see some of the guys locally, they offer the same service for 350 bucks. I wouldn't do it. I, I used to do it when it was when it was cheaper. So it used to be $90 to get rid of a load of the stuff. Now it's 150 for a half ton. So now it's $200 for a load. So it went up and fuel prices are up. I, I'm not I'm not in the business of doing stuff for free. It's just it's not gonna happen. I'm I'm not doing it. So, um, all right, guys. So, in conclusion, know your worth. Know what you know. Something like this will take you to get rid of. You know, uh, know how your mileage and how long it's going to take you in labor. You know, if I would have had help today doing this, if I would have to pay a helper, I'm already you know a half hour drive into the lady's house, and then. Uh, about 45 minutes loading, cutting the wood and loading it and loading it up, strapping it down and getting back to my house here because I have to go pick a boiler up at a house. So I got to, I got to drive pretty far away to go get a boiler, come back and then dump and then drive 20 minutes to the, uh, landfill to dump this stuff. Then I have to unload it by hand, which is kind of my own fault because I don't have a dump trailer, but yeah, guys know how much it's going to cost for you to do this. There's extra money in this. If you guys want to haul away garbage. Just realize how long and how many hours you have into it. You know, if it's going to take you six hours to do this for 600 bucks with the gas and dump the garbage, it might not be worth it. Maybe to you it will be, but for me it's not. If I can't make 125 to 150 an hour, I don't do it. It's just a lame and it's just the name of the game for me. I got, I got to look at other things I can make money on. I'm not going to do as much time as I want. You know, to spend it on, you know, making other pe making other people happy. Yeah, I'm in the business of, of doing work for people and, and uh, um, you know, providing a service to them. But let, let's face it, if she could have, if she could have got rid of this, she would have. And most people have a little trailer or a truck where they can haul it. This lady does not. Or then maybe she didn't want to load it all up in there. A lot of people just want somebody to haul it away. So good story. The rest of the wood... I'm there. I get this all loaded up. The contractor, because I'm not going to mention any names, I picked up scrap metal for him before. Seems like a pretty nice guy. He says to me, oh, come back get the rest of the wood. I said, okay. He's like, how much? I said, you know, there's a lot more wood than I took. So I said, look, I said, um, I, since I took this load for her and she wanted me to take, she had more garbage for me to take. Now, mind you, she had more of the trash that she wanted to get rid of and not the wood. And he's like, yeah, well, you know, I feel bad and, and I want to get rid of the stuff. I said, I can come back. I said, I'll take the wood. I said, it's going to be 600 bucks. So another $600 just to take the wood. He says, oh, no, no, I'll have somebody come and get it and they'll burn it. I said, okay, but you still have to load it up. You still have to bring it to the place. And then you got to sit there for hours burning the wood. You have to watch it. So, you know, if he wants to pay one of his guys to do it, sure. Be 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 that you know as it may but yeah i told the homeowner i said hey he said he's coming back to get the rest of the wood i said hold him to that i said i told him 600 bucks and he said no she goes you told me 600 bucks i said yeah i said but i, I said well, if i come back for the wood and i've used and this guy's used me a couple times give me some scrap and then he was like oh no 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 but see you're doing the job so you should be getting rid of it maybe you didn't negotiate the price with her or maybe you felt bad for her but you know even if you got a 20 yarder and you threw all that wood in there, there's another 10. I bet you I put about 1,500 to 2,000 pounds of wood in. I'll see at the end what my slip comes out to be with my weight because all the fluffy crap she had couldn't have been more than three or 400 pounds, but she had a lot more stuff. So I didn't even take 20% of it, and there probably was enough to fill this trailer and the back of the truck with just wood. It was all like a huge deck. It was, it was, um, the house was 40 foot, so it was 40 by 30 foot. With all the columns and everything, yeah. And there was chunks of concrete there. I'm like, dude, I'm like, that shit is heavy as hell. Oh, well, you know, I'll have somebody come and do it. Well, then you have somebody come and do it. 
I'm not that guy. You know, I told him 600 bucks and I figured if I brought that in and I loaded it, I might make another 150 bucks, but it's done for the lady. And it helps him out. Maybe he got me in his good favor. But he didn't take it. And you know what? I'm not out here doing stuff for free. I'm sorry. You know, I bet you there's about eight to 10,000 pounds of wood there still to go. And that would have cost me probably more, whole, almost a whole 600 bucks. So you know what? Let him freaking burn it. I don't care. I'm not out here to make other people rich. I'm out here sweating like a bitch today. It's 95 degrees. The lady, the lady I'm covered in dog hair. The lady's house is scuzzy. I mean, I don't really care. She works with my wife. I don't really care. But, you know, I'm not out here to make everybody happy. I'm only here doing what I need to do for myself. So, all right, guys. Remember, don't cheat yourself. Don't let people take advantage of you. You have garbage pickup, give them a price. They don't take it, let them go, man. It's not worth the aggravation. It's not worth the time. And it's not worth the frustration. It really isn't. But, all right, guys. I got to... I got to go and uh, go pick a boiler up from one of my plumbers and I'll come back and get rid of this load of crap. But all right, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And remember, don't cheat yourself. You know, you guys are the ones putting the work and using your truck and using your time and using your gas. So, you know, don't cheat yourself, kings. All right, I'll see you in the next one.